Good morning, everyone. We had to show you that beautiful flower, of course, that you know one of our friends on YouTube. Thank you, Drew. Has, uh, uses as her little icon thing. And uh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Thank you so much, dear one, for the gift. Beautiful. I love it. People cannot miss that baby. <laughs> so a good morning to you all. I hope this finds you well. Those of you that are going through your problems, uh, hang in there. Um, work through them. Get on the other side of this, and you'll be so happy you did. And I uh, got some things to go over with you. We're going to start on down the line here so I can get as much covered as possible. Jennifer was telling me there was some controversy or something. I forgot to ask her about that while I was away. Something about paper or something or waste or something. Well, excuse me, but all, our, all this paper and all this is being recycled. Matter of fact, I'm going to recycle this whole library of mine and Dr. Jensen's library. We're going to turn it all back to nature and use it in another way. Of course, it would be nice to set these libraries up and help people have access to them, you know. But we wanted a big healing center and have a big library where you could relax and, you know, pick up uh, reading material. But, uh, you know, money, money, money. And it seems like the way things are going, who knows what's going to be happening here. So I want to go over some things. Again, I love you all. Uh, happy you're uh, tuned in here and I hope you're doing well. So many of you are kicking the old butter ruski, but we sure have cycles. There's no question about it. Some important stuff to kind of get to here. And this one is from an individual that must have, you know, again, your post must be in here somewhere. So I apologize again on that. Uh, this is Bo. Hey, Bo, sweetheart. Um, if this is an insomnia case where she's tried uh, everything, the California poppy re valerian to relax and the like. You know, it, when you having a tough time getting up to the pineal gland, it just shows you, and I'm going to kind of connect this to another case right here to uh, kind of tie this in. And this one I got over the weekend here, I guess, or first last part of last week. But um, uh I think that it, once you guys, those of you that are going to be the healers out there, which I take most of you will, uh, you have to understand that we're facing a very serious job ahead of us. You know, we, we don't have the time to play around like governments and let time just take its course and stuff like this. It, I just feel things are speeding up and uh, change is essential and that's not that's not uh, today that's yesterday type of thing so anyway it is is what it's going to be but detoxification uh, is really at hand here and what's needed and I want to kind of before I finish you Bo I want to go over here to Clint and this one is a real important one. And I want to tie these in together, okay? This is uh, an, an avid YouTube watcher. Nine weeks ago, his wife, Rebecca, gave birth to Amazing Son. About the fifth month, uh, she experienced some numbness. And uh, it, the midwife, of course, assumed it was positional for the child, which is obvious. You know, that, would, that, that could be assumed for sure. And so... Uh, after the son was born, her numbness didn't go away. So they, the MDs thought it might be MS, and so they did a CAT scan, of course, uh, or an MRI, I guess, excuse me, and the surgeon found a tumor, a uh, brain tumor, uh, a glioma, two centimeter by two centimeters sitting on the bottom of her brain, pushing on her spinal column. Now, that's in the cerebellum area, which can really affect her equilibrium and dizziness in time. Uh, there at the top of the surgery list, um, uh, da, da 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 Rebecca, she's only 30 years old, and this has been my point here. 30-year-old people are facing big-time kidney and adrenals. Can you imagine what the younger people are facing? Twice as bad. This is, uh, this is why I'm shouting and screaming from the mountaintops. We've got to turn this around if humans want to continue to inhabit this uh, planet and experience creation at this level. If not, there's plenty of levels to experience. And again, one has to understand this the level is really just a, a, a play field for bodies that are made of, uh, of uh, atoms. And the consciousness, of course, is always going to be you. Uh, now get this. 
this person hasn't been eating a bad diet. Huh? We eat mostly veggies and fruits. We juice and make smoothies. Eat a little seafood once a week. No big deal there. No dairy, no meat. Well, I consider seafood meat. Uh, we eat rice and pasta once or twice a week. Rebecca did yoga before and during pregnancy. She doesn't drink or smoke. So what's up? And this has been my point. I'm going to tie this to you too, Bo. It is. You, she's living a, a pretty good, perfect diet, actually, for humans. Even with a little seafood, a little pasta here and there, so what? I mean, that's really a perfect diet where you're eating predominantly fruits and vegetables. You have a little seafood here, you have a little pasta there, so what? That, I mean, you're going to get to that, most of you. For those that can take raw and, and live on it 20 years, God bless. But out of all of you, maybe one of you will end up really doing that. What seems real in the moment doesn't. 10 years, 20 years, I mean, there's a lot of time, and this is the fast-paced experiencing planet. It isn't like you get to sit back and be the same old person throughout the next 10, 20 years. Uh-uh. You're going to have your butts kicked emotionally and every other way with relationships. I mean, this is rip and pull now in creation because spirituality must grow to keep in check with the negative forces. Governments and all these people have lined themselves with these negative forces, and that's what they're doing, taking more freedom. We shouldn't even have this, uh, this uh, in America, have this Supreme Court case today. And if the Supreme Court, and in, in reviewing the Supreme Court case on the health care, uh, it was also shown that the Supreme Court upheld the government's right to compensate a guy's wheat field or something because uh, it could affect interstate commerce. Or the lady that grew marijuana in 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 uh, California, where it was legal for her to. But the Supreme Court said that the government has uh, jurisdiction over that because it could, it could uh, affect interstate commerce. Now these Supreme Court judges, they're so old, they need to go like the Native Americans, go out in the woods and just let themselves take off because you're ruining America. I don't know where they get these jokers on the Supreme Court. I always thought Rogers was a real smart cookie. But when you allow the federal government, and that's why the Constitution was put together, when you allow any government to start taking your rights, they'll take more, they'll take more, they'll take more, and they'll take more. So if the Supreme Court allows this in this country, uh, for those freedom lovers, you either we're either going to enter a revolution here, or we're going to move out of the country and let it just fall because you will it'll end up being a very communistic country uh, where it's going right now, where you think you have rights and you don't, and that's the scary part of most people that say, "Yeah, go ahead and pass these uh, right restrictive laws." Yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't understand that they're the ones that also get kicked. Anyway. Sorry for that little ramping, but uh, this this is just the way it is, I guess. But anyway, this shows you the the power or the need to look at detoxification, deeper work. She was following a perfect, basically a perfect diet, and look what happened. She developed a tumor. That means she was born with kidneys and adrenal weakness. She was not filtering probably since she was a little girl. A little bit of here, a little bit there, things build up. And so this is a good case to show you. You 30-year-olds are, are in trouble with your kidney and adrenals genetically. And I've said this all along this YouTube site, and this is just more confirmation that we're right spot on with our thinking and that it's vital that we kick it up. So. In her case, and the same thing with Bo's case here, she's not getting up into that because when you can't sleep, that's irritation. Unless you're trying to uh, fall asleep and have an out-of-body experience when you're trying to go put the body to sleep, but you're trying to take off. Since you're the consciousness to it, you can stay there. Uh, I, I spent months restless uh, awake like that because I was trying to fall asleep consciously. That sounds radical, but you you have to realize that you as soul don't sleep. There's no sleeping for you because there's no need to. You are always aware. 
it is the bodies that must rest to replug in because soul is so powerful that you could literally burn out your mind, you can literally burn out your emotions as some of you do, and literally burn your physical body out uh, through the power of you because you can keep on going. It's the bodies that restrict your energy and sometimes it does to, to change you. So the way God works everything, it's so like the wheels of a clock that it's hard to judge and of course you shouldn't anyway but you know you, you kind of the mind wants to kind of grasp a little thing but really the power of you is so powerful. And the same thing with Bo, very spiritual woman, uh, all of you guys. Uh, and so, but, but, with that said, on the physical side there, lymph, acidosis equals irritation. And in the case of the pineal can, can create, you know, uh, the inability to sleep and then the brain and then the, uh, the restless legs, the lower back. I mean, just all, all ties in there with the lymph. So, Clint. Your wife has to start a great fast yesterday. Now, start a fast big time. You don't need to wait into it. You're already doing fairly good with your diet. Jump into a great fast. 40-day great fast. 30-day great fast. Hit this fast. You really, I know you're probably going to go for surgery. You can tell what they're freaking out here. But keep in mind that she can grow it right back. No matter what they tell you, you, you're, you ha and you know this already, Clint, you have to change the reason and the, and the why she got it. This hasn't to do what she's eating as much as what she's producing. At the cell level, you're always producing waste, acid waste at the cell level. These wastes must get out of there. This type of diet is just a great diet for people to live healthy and happy on. But it is not a good diet to regenerate kidneys and move lymph, get the adrenals regenerated. We're into this level of thinking, guys. That's why this YouTube site, in my opinion, is so vital for the world and for you guys as the world's next greatest healers. Because... This is what we have to understand is what we are seriously up against. You can't play around with this when you have the tumors and things like this. You, 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 she's already on a good diet. And I've seen this with raw fooders coming here on raw foods, still with the cancers and stuff. It isn't enough anymore to wake up in your 20s and 30s and 40s and just eat a better diet. It's not enough. We got to get to the higher regenerative levels to get those kidneys and those adrenals up and waking up out of their genetic uh, 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 sleeping, so to speak, and think about her babies. She's got some young babies here that are really going to have some serious kidney and adrenal weaknesses. And this is why I'm doing this YouTube. Another reason is to get this awareness out of there. Wait before you have kids. Wait. Spend some time. Get your health in order. And then have kids. She didn't even know she had any health problems. This is another big problem. That's why check your blood pressures for low blood pressures. Check your basal temperatures under your arm for low body temperatures. You know, use these little bitty, apparently insignificant, but can be very significant techniques or, or um, a ways of looking at how your body's doing. Uh, watch this, because when you're talking about the giant lymph system, wow, 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 wow. And Bo, you're in the same issue here. Moving lymph is a trip. And remember, cleaning up the gut is vital to getting into the brain, so you've got to go after the gut. And the problem is, what we're having is hard financial times, and we need herbs. And so...